What's up guys, how's it going? My name is Stephen Bloodworth and thank you for once again joining me on another video. Today's going to be another unboxing video. Yes, I know I've been ordering a shit ton of things, but I needed to do a video on this one. Today I got a package from Stephen Byro, aka Lord Byro of Unearthed Films. This unboxing is going to be a little different from the other unboxings that I did for Unearthed Films or really any other unboxing videos. And I say that because I got something other than DVDs or Blu-rays from Unearthed Films. But while we're on the topic of DVDs and Blu-rays, definitely check out the two newest releases from Unearthed Films, What the Water's Left Behind and Gutter Balls. Definitely great films. And just for the record, this video is not sponsored by On Earth Films. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for all my latest videos posted every Monday and Friday. But without further ado, turn down the lights, crank up the volume. This is an On Earth Films unboxing. Before we actually unbox what I have today from Unearth Films, I just want to give you a little backstory on why exactly I ordered these items. A few years ago at the Bone Hill Road premiere in LA, Todd Sheets, the cast, crew, myself, and Steven Byro went all out for the after party. Byro was telling me a little bit about American Guinea Pig The Song of Solomon, and got into telling me that he's had some experiences himself with the devil demons, and some other really freaky deaky shit. He told me that he wrote a couple of books based on his experiences with demons, and that's what we got today. But enough of the jibber jabber, let's open this bitch. First things first in here, what the hell is this? It looks like a poster of some sort. And... Holy shit, this is fucking cool. All right, Lord Byro, I don't know if this is part of a sale he's been having or what, but threw in this amazing graphic poster for the Song of Solomon, and amazing detail on this poster, and it's autographed on the bottom by who I'm gonna assume is the artist of it. I have no idea, Byro, if you're watching this, please tell me, but sweet, I always love something extra from the Byro. Alright, so now let's get into what I actually got. The first one in here, this is his book, Dialogue with the Devil. And just for the record, there are two versions of each of the books I'm going to show. One of them is the regular version. The ones that I ordered are the limited edition versions. And these are apparently, yeah, uh, Byro signs all of them. They're limited to 200. Uh, mine is number 53. But yeah, he told me this is one of his, um, out of all three books that he's written about the demon stuff. Uh, I believe he said this one was his favorite. And a little backstory on here, the greatest trick that the devil has ever pulled off was to conceive the world he does not exist. Now you will know he exists. Writer Stephen Byro is again doing what he does best, peering behind the veil and fighting the devil on his own ground. Here, Byro searches for the reasons to the madness of humanity by asking direct questions of Satan. But yeah, I can't wait to get into this book. This seems awesome. Truth be told, I do other things besides watch movies all day long. Reading books is one of them, sometimes. Not all the time. I just need something to do during this quarantine. The next one is another book from Byro. This one is Hallucination. And this is another memoir. And once again, signed by the Byro himself. This is... Also limited to 200, this is number 79 out of 200. Here's a little bit of writing from the back. A drug-fueled trip through the gruesome levels of hell may sound like a fictional horror story to some, and since the traveler in question was movie distributor Stephen Byro, it could just as easily have been one of his film projects, but Stephen's experiences were the real, life-changing sort. They are also proof that the Lord does work in mysterious ways, extending all the way to squares of LSD and nitrous oxide cartridges. Whoa, that's some intense shit. I really don't know which one I want to read first, but holy shit, this seems fucking rad. And the last thing we got in here, this is, I believe, the last book in the trilogy? The last book or the first book, I'm not sure. Um, but this one is Satan Reborn. And this one, again, 
signed by the biro. This is number 43 out of 200. And here's a little writing on the back. Yeah, this is the last one actually. Lucifer has tired of the war between heaven and hell. In the throne room of the Most High, he asks if he may be forgiven and join the ranks of the angelic once again. The Lord rejoices, forgiving the wayward angel and bringing him back into the fold so he longed for. Realizing that the mantle of Satan must be worn for the Lord's plans for humanity to work, God and Lucifer must find his successor. A mortal is chosen, a man who has been behind the veil of reality and knows some of the innermost workings of the war between the saved and the damned. Stephen Byro, author of Hallucination and Dialogue with the Devil, presents the final chapter of the most mind-bending, no-holds-bards, theological Christian trilogy ever written. Be forewarned, due to the philosophical nature and graphic depictions of violence in these books, you may never look at life the same way again. This one just has my brain moving in all sorts of directions. And holy shit, Stephen Byro threw in something else. This is from Street Entertainment. Uh, looks like just a, uh, promotional thing. This one is for Revenge is Her Middle Name, directed by Anthony Matthews. And here's the website on the bottom of it for all you guys to check out. For anybody that wants a good read or for anybody that wants to hear about people's experiences with the devil and hell itself, then I would say give these books a read. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for checking in. If you want to check these books out for yourself, make sure to go to unearthfilms.com. Link will be in the description. And also check out What the Waters Left Behind in Gutterballs, now available on DVD and Blu-ray from Unearth Films. Before you click off this video, definitely hit it with a thumbs up and let me know what is your favorite Unearth Films title and which films that you would hope to see Unearth Films release in the future. Until next time, guys, take care and stay scared.